What's good, YouTube fam? All right, I am coming at you again with another video. Um, if you're interested in the eye look that I'm wearing, um, I did do a tutorial, so I will be uploading that. So just click on that. Um, but I wanted to come with y'all with a, a review on a couple products that I've been absolutely um, loving. Like, for real, like, this is a, just a dream come true for me. And also, I'm going to share with y'all my new diva, my new diva corner. I can't really call it a little space, but my new diva corner, because I made some changes. Um, as you can see, it looks a little different back there. But anyway, so I, all y'all hear me always talking about on my videos, how I have extremely oily skin. I do, I do, I do, I do. It looks like by the end of the day or by midday, my face is so oily and shiny and just ugh it just looks so bad and even with um my max my mac um studio fix fluid foundation i would notice on my nose it cracking and the oil seeping through and i just like i'm not even a fan of that foundation just because of that reason and it may not even be the product it just my skin is so oily so I've been looking for a really good primer, and I have heard about this primer, but I have never tried it. I just keep forgetting to go get it when I'm at the store. And I do have a face primer, which is Hard Candy Sheer Envy. I've been using this. Um, I love the way the finish feels, silky, very satiny, but it don't work. I mean, it's, just, it, it's not for me. It don't work because my skin is super oily, so I need that heavy-duty stuff. So, no, that's the right point is. Um, but I do like the finish of it. So, I've been hearing, and y'all, please don't get freaked out. I'm telling you, this product is amazing. Amazing. If you have oily skin, do not get freaked out by the name because this product is the bomb. And that would be Monistat Chafing Relief Powder Gel. I kid you not. This is the best primer I've ever... This is the best primer I have ever ever came across so good that i bought like two or three more of these bad boys this is the i'm y'all i'm telling you when i put this on my face before i apply my foundation to prime my face my skin is never it has not been oily um at the end of the day and i'm talking about i from the morning until like nine or ten o'clock at night no oil seeps through this is the business the business I mean it. Um, there is no scent. It doesn't smell like anything. It comes out clear. And it dries as a kind of like a powdery form. It like turns into... Matter of fact, the finish of this is just like the Hard Candy Sheer Primer. Very silky, satiny feeling. Not oily at all. There's no oil. There's no... You don't feel any... It doesn't leave any type of oily residue. It just dries powdery and that's what it says it's a, a powder to you know a gel powder form a powder gel form so it, it starts out gel and then it kind of goes into a powder form and this is the absolute business i i don't get oily at all i probably am oily but it won't break through not through this not through this bad boy so this one i'm going to use it up because i paid for it it was six dollars i'm definitely going to use it up but I mean, it doesn't even work. So it maybe if I'm like running out the door and I'm only going to be out for like an hour or two, then maybe I'll use this. But if all day, absolutely. Modest that chafing relief powder gel. And if y'all don't believe me, all y'all got to do is type in this as a facial primer and mass hits off of YouTube will come up. People have been talking about this and people have been using it for a very long time. And I haven't came across anybody that had anything negative to say about it, it or said that it doesn't work because this works. And um, I was actually amazed. I thought maybe it'll work for a little bit. And then, you know, my because my skin is like, like I said, I need that, that coup de gras of all face primers to um, for my skin to not show up oily at the end of the day. And, um, I was shocked. I was really shocked. But y'all, this works. This works. I, I I will never. I'm not gonna buy another primer uh, outside of this. I will always continue to use this because I know this works. And my face is super, 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 super oily. Super oily. So anyway, I just wanted to share that new information with you. I have been using this for a week, and every day it never fails me. Every day, this I be so oily. It don't make no sense. Like super oily. And then also when I get oily, it just seems like my blush and bronzer seeps into my pores and magnifies them. Never with this. Not once.
So anyways, on to the new diva space. Yo, I'm so excited. My husband just felt like I was taking, which I was, and it just felt like the truth was I was really taking over this computer desk. I had makeup all over. Y'all see my makeup video. I had makeup in here, makeup over here on the computer desk, makeup on the dish in the shelves on the computer desk. So he um gave me these three shelves, this little thing with three shelves in it, and um he hooked me up, so I put took all my makeup off the computer desk and put it on there. And um, he took the doors off of my closet because I was having a hard time with my makeup and my purses and stuff being here. And then when I went to try to get my clothes, I had to slide doors, squeeze between the computer desk, and like reach in there and get my clothes. And then some of the clothes would be blocked by the door, so it was very frustrating. So anyway, I'm going to show y'all my new video space. I'm so excited. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I did a couple crafty things, and I'll let y'all know where I got the ideas from. But anyway, this is my new diva space. Let me back all the way up. As you can see, my doors have been taken off of the closet, and they're they're all gone. And I love it. I love not having no no doors on my closet because I can just see my stuff. It's there. It's available to me. I just got. I can just walk over there and grab what I need out of it. So the two in my makeup collection video, I had two drawers that were. Um, two three tier drawers that were sitting side by side on the floor, and I just stacked those. And then my single drawer, I just put on top, and then I just keep my brushes on top of there, my makeup wipes, and things like that. This is the three tier, the three um shelf unit that my husband gave me, and on top of it, I just have you know um perfumes and just everything. Everything I put my palettes down here. Um, it's just getting dark out, so you really can't um see but my palettes is down there on the on the bottom shelf which is good because they were really taking up a lot of space and I love it I love it now if y'all notice in my other videos and all my other videos this right here is a shiny metallic -y kind of purse um with netting in it I have my earrings hanging off of here because I don't have enough room to have a jewelry box and I don't even have a jewelry box so I have my my um dangly earrings hanging off of this but my girl um Miss Barbie Jones, she is very, very, very crafty. Like, she is the queen of thrifting and buying, like, really nice furniture, reupholstering it and just and re and painting it or refinishing it and making some bad, I mean, some bad furniture. And she does have a blog. I have to get her blog name from her and then um, put it in the description. But she just kind of inspired me to make this thing that's hanging back here, which you have. You can see my earrings are hanging off of that. And she noticed it in my video. She was like, is that a purse? That's so ghetto. You have your earrings hanging off a purse. And it is ghetto, but it is what it is. So she was like, well, why don't you get a nice picture frame and get some fishnet, put it inside the picture frame and hook your earrings on there. And I said, oh, you know what? That's a good idea. I should do that. But I didn't have enough space on my on my desk to put a picture frame on and hook my earrings. So I went to the dollar store. I got a, um, what is it called? I got a laundry bag that was fishnetting. The only thing I don't like about that is that they didn't have a white one. So I had to do the blue one. And that's okay. I mean, it's not a big deal. And I bought a cheap poster frame from the dollar store and some nails from the dollar store. And I put the, um, the laundry bag in there, in the frame, um, sealed the frame, and then cut off the fringes or the, you know, what was hanging out. And I hooked my earrings in there on it, and I hung it in my wall. In my and I love it, y'all. I just, I just think that's just a good way to save space. And so, um, yeah, I kind of got that idea from her. I altered it a little bit, but you know, I have to get credit where credit is due. Plus, um, Love Kisses ninety nine has something like that. If you ever watch her video, she has something like something similar to this kind of hanging on her door. I don't know if it's a picture frame idea like that, but she does have her earrings hanging off of something. Then I also uh, put some nails right there. And I was able to hang my necklaces back here. So, and I love it. I got my mirror hanging on that, you know, on that side. But I just love having the doors off of my closet and all my stuff kind of displayed to where I can just kind of reach. If I'm sitting at my desk doing my makeup or doing a video, I don't have to slide doors or anything like that. I can just reach right on over and get what I need. So anyway, y'all let me know what, let me know what y'all think about my new, um, diva space. Um, I love it. Y'all don't play. I love it. So anyway, as always, that's it. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys.